Hey guys, my name is Nicholas Forglue and I'm the first level in Team Quartz's group. As you can see here, walking up onto my level, there's a uh, shipping containers to block the side views, wood on the ground to hide the transition a little bit better. Uh, it opens up to a large farm with a silo, another silo in the back, and a uh, big farmhouse, unpainted. There's a collectible at the front that you should pick up, an axe that you put through the front door to break the wood. It's all set up, all introduced pretty justly. There's a light in the corner, ration. And so you have an objective to collect eight rations and you have to restore the path through the farm. Uh, as you just saw, there's a. That's the second time that you'll see the uh, symbol. So there's different tools for each path. So this is one tool for the green path, it's green and it has a specific tool just so you don't get the certain paths confused. Snap it in, go upstairs, collect the next ration. So you're finding rations the whole way through. Um, they act as your breadcrumb. Uh, when you go to the backyard, that path closes so you can't go that way anymore and you can't go back into the farm. This is to uh, prevent backtracking and uh, confusion. Now there's a grave in the backyard that has the uh, red panel. So you shoot up there. Real simple. There's an axe on the grave, but if you don't get that axe, there's another one. So you can either use the axe at the grave or the axe behind the shed. Uh, I cut out the grass around that so it would seem like a path that you want to explore. And you can cut that open, get the ration, get the panel, bada bing bada boom, put it in. Um, behind the shed on the other side too, you can explore from the grave. And there's an extra ration there. So if you're looking for one, there's another one. I believe there's 12 rations total. And you only need 8 to complete the level. So you just break your way through the silo, <coughs> climb up. <coughs> keep climbing up. Uh, I really like the lighting in this area because you can see the shadows and you can kind of see what you're walking into. <coughs> that wood on the left there, you can actually break if you wanted to. Uh, there's no real reason to uh, walk across to the other silo, look inside or not. Whatever, whatever suits you. Collect a ration, and once you get all the meat, you path to the farm, and you can leave. And that's the end of my level, and now I'll hand it off to uh, my partner, Chris. Welcome to my scene. I am Christopher Meyer, and I have chosen to use post-processing to give a dark mood, a uh, cold atmosphere. Uh, we'll find our first lever here, which opens the gates. And you take a look around, there's a lot going on. Uh, you grab a collectible. Only the wooden crates can be moved. The metal ones can't. So you jump over the damage zone from the barrels and the fire that was over there. Uh, you get the hint that there's going to be some dangerous stuff in here, chemicals and fumes. You see a couple of large pits. And when you place something on the switch, it actually drains that second pit over there. If we can get a barrel to stay on there. You can use that box straight ahead there in the corner too if you need to. So attempting to jump over everything here, get to the other side, grab yourself another collectible. Make your way over towards the switch, which will raise that catwalk, allowing you access to the office. That is a damage zone. Um, if you jump fast enough, you can actually get through it. Unlike the one outside, which would actually damage you all the way. So once you get into the office, there's a, another collectible here. And you hear some little whispering voices, kind of like you know the fumes are affecting you and you're hearing things. The stairs lead you down in this direction towards a collectible. And off to your left, there's a light. And <coughs> turns yellow when you put something on it and green when the second interaction happens. Uh, this is not needed to complete the mission. This is more for the completionist people out there and the people that just like the extra things to do in a game. So when you put two on there it does drain and you can go grab two more collectibles from off here. So once you have those 
make your way out the door. You're back into the cold atmosphere here. Grab yourself another collectible. Head on over to the warehouse. I wanted to give a kind of surreal feeling when you walk in, so it's it's bright but grayish. Um, some big overhead lights going on up there, and the way that shelf is leaning kind of guides you right up to that ramp onto the tree there. You know, kind of like this is where you go with a collectible up there. Um, I widened the collider a little bit because staying on that tree limb got to be a bit difficult. So now you have another collectible. Make your way on down. It's going to be a little loud here because it's an engine, so I figure it should be loud. So you have to stop the gears according to the objective. So one is stopped by pulling the lever and the second one stops by the switch plate. Or the door plate. However, once you step off, it starts spinning again. So you need some way to stop it permanently. So you can go over and collect it. So then you go ahead and jump up the broken catwalk. Make your way outside. And here there's another big oil spill pit. So when you run down the ramp, you just land on that and you can see that it actually drains. So that gives you an idea of what to do. So you grab the wooden crate because the metal ones you can't pick up. So it drains it. And you just have to solve the little puzzle. Just put the, uh, the crates pretty much on the ones that they're here. And then when you take the one off this one here, it will fill up again. So then you just drop it on this last one, which actually opens the door at the end and allows you to exit. So you'll see the, the, the fire pit going on there, and you just kind of follow it. There's another fire, which leads you into the next mission. As you can see, it slowly gets brighter until you're back into daylight. Hello there, my name is Daniel McIntyre, and I am the creator of The Train Yard. Uh, where the mission of the level is to find the three toys scattered throughout the area. So first off, you press this little switch plate here, and it opens up these doors, allowing you access to the train yard. And you see there's a little button on that wall there. You take the cube, walk over, line it up, and you take the shot. It drops down the crate. There are more boxes around, and you will use them to drop this drawbridge. Uh, you need four boxes to drop both sides of the drawbridge. There are little panels up top there that you need to put the crates on. So, dropping this crate, if you look inside, you'll see there are more boxes for you to use. There's actually three on the ground, one's hidden just to help uh, if you've missed the shot or anything. So you do need to at least get the shot down, but there's still more boxes you can use at least. I see. It takes a little bit of time, but it's it's more for the getting into the actual idea of this level. So you take the box, you put one on, and you can see it lights up showing you, hey, you need at least two. It drops one side of the bridge, and then you put two on the other side. I'm going to pick up this cans right there. Put this one on this other side here, and bam, both sides, whoop, knocked it off. And there we have it, both sides are down, and there's toy number one. And there are some more cans here. You can go down and explore if you want, but this is more so in case you fall in this section. Open the door here, and as you can see, we have crates. Now these crates are randomized, so they will either be up, down, up, they'll be down, 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 or anything like that, depending on how they are you have to interact with. But the primary thing is either putting a box on or taking it off to raise the crates in order to get through this puzzle. And you see our player here, he only had to do one, so lucky him. And interact with that bunny, and exit this area. And we're on to the final puzzle, which is a little tricky. Uh, yeah, it requires some time and patience and skill. You need this box here. As you see, we 
we're going to raise it up, go up these stairs. And you'll see that there is a pressure plate here. It requires two objects, so you put yourself on it. Opens up the crane. You gotta line up this shot, be a little quick. Fire. Cutscene opens up the door. You can see it's underneath there. Jump right on in. Walk through the door. The stairway. It obviously you go up the stairway, as you can see, it kinda like lures you to it. Get these cans. There we go. Head on up these stairs, and if you saw in the corner of the screen, there is the last toy, a little sheep. And then you can kind of look around if you would like to, but we want to get on to our next little play area here. Exit these doors, and you have completed the train yard. Uh, thank you for watching, and on to the next player. Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri White, and this is my level that you are about to see right now. So, the theme I went for is a factory level, and what the player has to do is collect the golden body pillow at the end of the level at the client's office to, uh, to get it for a bastion. Basically, uh, what you have to do is use these other pillows as problem solvers, or uh, b basically your key to victory to progress through the level. You just find them laying around. And that was our first little setup there where we had to block the spewing water with a pillow. And this is our first little puzzle, not much of a puzzle, but you had to place the pillow on that switch and then take it off in order to raise the elevator with yourself on it. This right here is practicing our hazard blocking skills because we had to plug up the pipe that was sucking up gas and putting it in this room. Pillow. So moving on, we have a breadcrumb trail of collectibles just along the way of the path that you're supposed to take. This is our second puzzle in which you had to flip the switch pillow and uh, flip the switch again by launching the pillow in order to turn the bridge the amount, um, right amount of times. Anyway, <clears throat> this is our mastery of the, of the pillow hazard thing. <laughs> what we have to do is place this pillow on this little holster that's on the conveyor belt and then hit that switch so that it crosses the pipe's path of fire and it blocks the flames from burning your corpse. That went well. Anyway, now this is our last little puzzle. We hit that switch to raise that giant cargo container and we climb this little obstacle course of debris in order to fling that pillow onto the pressure plate which activates this piston that we can then jump on and complete that setup. Get some more items and we did it. We are at the client's office. We get the golden pillow and yes, stay hydrated ladies and gentlemen. Just a friendly reminder. <laughs> Alright, next level. Okay, so for my level, what you want to do is move the bookshelf onto the switch, and that should open the big door. And we go in here, of course the way is blocked by those, so you have to come this way, first collect up this thingy, go up the stairs, and then you should find a trash can. It's various things to look at, of course. We put the trash can down here, because we're going to need it for the switch. Which open a door and in we go. Walk around, there should be something here too. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. We just have to break through the wall because we're going to need that. We're gonna move it here so that we can jump up here. Give me a second. Let me put it closer. Okie dokie. 
Alright, so I'm going to explore up here for a bit. There's more foods and useful stuff here. Oh no, I guess we fell. So first we're going to search this room because there's something in here too. Uh, yeah, got that food. Let's take our box with us. We're going to use this box to open this door for us. stuff around here. We're going to take this box out right now because we're going to put it here so that we can climb up here. This box up there. Good, so I should be good enough to climb now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We made it, Pippa. Break down this wall. We should find our final food item. There we go. Okay, now let's just move this pesky old shelf so that we can get the H E double hockey sticks out of here. We go down the stairs. Walkie, 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 walk. Or run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, jump. Okay, we made it. We made it. Usually I don't. But we made it again. Mm -hmm. Walkie, walkie, walk. Run, run. Almost there, people. Yes, that's a train in the water. How does that sound like? Train on the water, boat on the track. Okay, now we just go up these stairs. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. And that should be the conclusion of the level.